Oh, I don't know if this is going to go up. I hope it does. I'm going to make it brief. This is in response to this ongoing uh, issue, if you want to call it an issue, of Jesse Matthews and his guilt in the murders and uh, the other crimes he's uh, accused of. First of all, I don't know anyone around here, certainly the media knows that this is a mind control murder. That Jesse Ma- murders. Jesse Matthews was programmed. He's a victim, just like uh, Century City, uh, James Holmes. That, I'm just going to show one of them because the psychiatrist uh, of the Fort Sh- Hood shooting, who's on death row, he'll die, I assume. He's in prison. Uh, he finished at Virginia Tech. And he went on to get his medical training in psychiatry degree somewhere else. He it was the one convicted in the Fort Hood shooting. Okay, I'm going to go back to Virginia Tech. Uh, this would have been April the 16th, I believe, of 07. Am I correct, 07? Uh, the mass shootings there where the young student from um, South Korea turned the gun on himself and shot himself, which happens in so many of these mind control program shootings. Okay, because people don't like to hear that someone can program you without your knowledge or consent. They tune it out. All you have to do now, back when I did a book about mind control, uh, 75 till April Fool's Day of 80, when they almost killed me. By the way, it's been ongoing, and no one's been held accountable. Uh, well, let me just say this and make this short. I wrote about mind control murders, and... Um, even had a letter from the U.S. Attorney, uh, William Harper, in Atlanta, dated June the 23rd of 79. Ongoing investigation, national security involved. Ask yourself why national security would be involved in a book I'm writing on mind control, which, by the way, included Dr. Larry McDonald, U.S. Congressman, Piedmont Hospital in Atlanta, Georgia. Later, I'm not. I'm leaving out background on what the hell they put me through. But later, August 31st of '83, the plane went down with him on it, and uh, all 20 or 200 passengers perished in the ocean. Uh, Juneau, Alaska, Seoul, South Korea, and uh, former President Nixon was on the plane taking off in Juneau, so somebody knew it was going down. But anyway, Larry Flint was shot in Lawrenceville, Georgia. Everybody knows Larry Flint, uh, and everybody says it like, you should meet the people along the road I've met, and um, Larry Flint's a saint. Uh, But anyway, he says here, I know who's responsible for shooting. Some of these, uh, the ones I mentioned, uh, are mind control murders, and they were done in patterns, which you can prove, because mind control is invisible. So how would you even know that you're a victim of it? And that's exactly who you are. This man, James Holmes, is being treated for mental illness. Mental illness has nothing to do with mind control. Uh, mental illness is a disease or mental, mental disorders. They feed people psychotic drugs, lock them up. This, um, this man's no more mentally ill than, um, well, I started to say uh, Jesse uh, Matthews is not mentally ill either. He's programmed. Uh, he's not a killer. At least he was programmed to do these, and that's the truth, and they can be proven. So rather than going on and sounding garbled, because I've put this up and laid it all out on so many YouTubes, and I've faced like a firing squad all along the way. I'm going to say this. Uh, I heard something this morning in reference to Jesse Matthews. Uh, His parents spoke out and said that before he left on his uh, trip from here to Texas, that they begged him to do the right thing. Well, obviously his parents don't know what was, do not know what was done to Jesse Matthews, and they don't haven't been told about all this, or else they tune it out for some reason. You can go and Google um, mind control videos, professionals, if you don't believe me, but believe me, I'm a professional in this. 
Um, anyway, the right thing to do, I'm going to ask the question out here, throw it out here. First of all, Jesse Matthews would have to be aware he had been programmed was, or was in the process of being programmed, ongoing. How would he know? Where would he go? And who would he tell? The police, the mental health? They would lock him up, commit him, and feed him psychotic drugs, which is torture, inhumane, uh, and they would treat him for a mental illness he didn't have. He has mind control. It's being done by the, it's a weapon, just like a gun, or a knife, or a bomb, or whatever, it's it's a we- murder weapon. Uh, to treat someone who is a victim of mind control, treat them as mental illness, is false imprisonment, feeding psychotic drugs, is torture and inhumane, uh, medical malpractice, it goes on and on, the crimes they're committing against these people. To say that locking up Mr. Matthews prior to the deaths of Hannah Graham and the other young lady would have prevented those deaths is a falsehood. First of all, this man's been programmed, and the people who are saying this very well know that there was programming done. They know he's a victim of mind control, and to spread this ugly rumor is falsehood. And to put him away and be part of putting him away for a murder that he didn't commit, he was programmed, he's a victim, is the sickest thing. And especially, I'll go ahead and say it, because they've come after me. They really have. And I hope to God I get out of this country. Um, They're in the position, the ones that, that I'm referring to, that made the statements, if he'd been locked up some time back, you got, these people really do are in the field that they really do not know what happened. They should have gone after the people doing the programming. They should have made it public. They had the means, the money and everything to do something about it instead of going after the victim, Jesse Matthews. So why don't you bring out the truth, people, and stop lying. <laughs> 